sort of an unconventional player on their raise, not their primary duelist. Wow, is already off to flying start. A flash came in from downtown. The TP from Durka got control over backside, but there's only one player that they're trying to root out of position, and they had nowhere to go. Good paranoia usage as well from Boaster that's gained Fnatic the site. And now, a 5v3, that's the reward. As it looks like Foot are going to be very quickly trying to make their way back through. Damage done by Durka! Okay. And somehow, one right! Not holding for V aggression. It is going to be contact off the ultimate. Yeah, immediately sent through. Durka just getting the information. They're going to try and put a paranoia. I don't think that has caught yet is it at all. A counter flash, and actually, they're going to get tagged up by the stun. That hasn't gone to plan. A really good start for Foot. Yedige again. We've spoken about this youngster many a time. Whoops, old teammate, by the way. And while Fnatic, what should have been a, a good early start for them here, has gone pretty badly wrong. Yeah, they're sort of stuck in a half commit. Boaster's in, Alpha's in. Durka got a way out, but the lead when they move over to the next half. Paranoia held by Adam Captain's going to slow them down, you oh. would think. But Boaster's what? gone running in. Beautiful play. The nade down in front of him as well. They didn't think he'd ever be going to commit all the way. Now. They've got the sight control at least, but that was almost the second punish from Boaster. Foot's retake, left. just the one-man disadvantage, but they haven't got control over Heaven, and fighting for it could come at a heavy cost. It's only Mr. Fallen going up there, and he needs to go quick to reunite with these players that are set up to take the sight. Yeah, Leo setting up a stun as well, trying to put some of his players into position. Find some of these fights. The time's that starting works. to tick down again. It's just <laughs> the trap just thrown at them. Yeah, the J wins exactly one, but the trade again is immediate. Boaster caught reloading. Maybe in a little bit of trouble. Still finds one more. And now it's left into that 1v1 scenario. Chronicle with all of the information and the time on his side as well. Seen it just looking for that final fight, trying to bait him in, and it just isn't working out. I don't know if there's going to be any chance of him winning this. Wait for someone to peek and just try and get them the advantage that way. And they're going to have all the information here. But they're going to actually try and execute off this. A beautiful flash. I mean, it's pushed them off the angle to start with. And now no fallback for CNET. So quickly dealt with. But Durka is traded out. This time, Mr. Fallen is going to plant his boots firmly in the ground. And he's got backup cracks up top. Only 10 HP on Mr. Fallen. It should be an easy kill. But it's the trade they'd be looking for. Mr. Fallen still grabs his third. They know Boaster's down below. The spams are good. Too good, in fact. Leaving Chronicle alone, another clutch for him, but this time the odds are definitely stacked against him. The spike left. is not planted, and well, if he wants to take this to A, he's got quite a run to go on. Yeah, I, I think this is just a save. But you look at the finances that are currently in the hands of Fnatic, they don't have anything to play with. That was a, a 1v1 clutch in the end with the round going Fnatic's way. Still going to try and walk back up. I, I don't know what the plan really I believe. Was. Allowing Alpha to get aggressive early on. There was a stun too, an ult used, but CNET is single-handedly keeping control of Heaven. He deals with them all piece by piece. They come at him one at a time as well. It helps. He's able to divide his time. Helps he's able to divide his time. At, uh... I can tell you they never would have checked for it. Even notice, so he just kills Alpha here. And again, a lot of the times you're going to expect Alpha to win that duel, but when you're facing off against Foot, well, you have one Turkish player, they have five. Yeah, and it's a really sign as well for Fnatic that these sort of plays, you don't know how to read into that. Does it mean you stop doing it altogether? Or was that maybe just not hit by the utility? Could the stun have worked nine times out of ten? And that was just the one, you, you never know. But already, these aggressive takes, Durka left. going in, dying, Alpha going in, dying, these have happened round after round. And 25 seconds. Haven't been able to synergize. Down to the last Time couple seconds, like you say, Tom. And well, Foot aren't panicked. They've got three players towards this site. Still on the back is Mr. Fallen, who's been spectacular. He might need to be again. Add a captain 3k deep. in the previous round. 15 seconds left. They've got to up the pace. And oh, that's a little bit of a whiff. Do they expect this extra player? Yes, they do. The ult will give them the information. But if this spike is denied planting any further, the round will already be gone. All Mr. Fallen needs to do is find a well-placed shot. Not a single one lands. In fact, it's all Fnatic shots that are landing, leaving Yedige. Well. In another fairly unwinnable clutch. Boaster's low, and he's one away from a Viper's Pit, but the time's ticking. Yeah, I, I don't even know if the Viper's Pit would be useful. To try and put it in here would be almost just given an opportunity for them to kill him, and Chronicle's reposition has been sublime. There's so many You have to watch out. That Tour de Force is online. Well, that's what they'll be trying to spot out. It looks like yeah. that info will fall cleanly into their laps. One player up in heaven. One on the side. 
And there's the third spotted as well. Great information to play off of. Stun is through, and so too is the TP. Durka with the flash. Here's the swing and the rolling thunder, but seen it could still get out of there. Oh, he waited so long, and the value was massive. Chuck not going to land from cracks, diving out of heaven, but he's on site to help out his teammates now. The swing is good as Leo falls. But Fnatic are elsewhere. The spike might not be. That's the real problem. It's down on the floor, but the flank is through. And Durka could almost so sell this. He's up in heaven. They think that's what they were waiting for. That's the flank that was coming through. But there's another element to this. Chronicle has a 1v2 in front of him and an opportunity to step turn. The second player, Nas clashes supportively on the Yoru. I'm a big fan of it. I don't think we've seen it hit so far. We won't see it hit this time, but Yedige grabs himself the kill onto Alpha. Slows down the push completely, but no one saw Durka TP down. Even still, though, <gasps> Yedeji managed to find a second player. Well, going through again, this man Five just takes down. over. The Turkish youth has become the dominant force when it comes to VCT MEA. And Yedeji looks to try and close this one. He's up against Chronicle on the other side. Spike dropped to the deck and still waiting for that rotation. Chronicle looks like he might just try and hit a timing through the smoke. He doesn't really have any utility to play with, just looking for any advantage he can find with the fading of that utility but the fact is it's going to be easier said than done he does manage to deny the ace at least and now tries to have a 1v3 of his own i like his idea as well standing in front of the orb but seconds retrieving the spike is going to be a tough task he has to clear all these angles and it's not about them swinging him it's about the time it runs down He's actually quite quick on picking it up and moving towards the site. No denial attempted by Foot, who are just waiting for this plan to come through. Cracks, yeah, he has his nade, but he can't use it. He's not in the position to. They just didn't want to give him individual fights. Paranoia doesn't hit. Chronicle still ready to duel, and now has the info where both players are. Boombot on its way. He's going to let it go past, but has to shoot it eventually. And now they know. They've got that idea grouped up again. Foot, take the Looking fight. Good. It was a decent start for Fnatic in the back and forth, but... They have now started to struggle a little bit. Now, we have seen a few teams really try and throw in for the Stinger by KC, I feel like, were the team I thought of originally with yep. all of these Stingers, but it hasn't gone great for Boaster. He's, he's tried to... Uh, captain. Uh, Will we see him swinging out to take that fight up into heaven as soon as this nade is fired away? If we do, that's a very powerful crunch from the side of foot, but they can't afford to lose these players either. They want to keep that hit up left. and keep Fnatic sectioned in. Again, they're getting down to the late round. Foot once more have three players ready and waiting to try and fight for this. They're already going to spot the utility of Durka as they try and make their way through. It's a little bit risky from Cracks knowing that he had that supported play. And Durk has now managed to find one another one. <laughs> Cnet manages to get two. He's going to go. The Fnatic, they're trailing by quite a bit. Uh, just, all right. Yeah, Not cool. much you can do about that. This is great, though. We see the TP work out. And it's been attempted a couple of times. And I have. Oh. <laughs> Blew his arm clean off. Unlucky left. for Chronicle. All the way down before, but the old going through. This seems yeah. to be a much quicker play. Yeah. Showstopper used in response. That's going to be fired off towards me. Two yeah. players on the site. They know Yoru can see them. Decoy still to work with. But Durka goes in on his own. He's got Alpha. Blast Spike packing down, into trade. Okay. But there's another player on the backside. Paranoia gives it away. Out of Captain. Now has to try to hold this position while his teammates are on the way. Miles out of combat and this swing it's hard to predict for out of captain as alpha picks up another the spike still hasn't been retrieved though with a bit of heaven control mr fallen 30 seconds many left. flashes actually I, I was expecting another sky flash to pop through but they used it to confirm there were no players around screen to get cnet into this Last position so he could try to fight his way back through and while he'll have one hell of a fight on his hands has to pick up another three after that opening pick spike the spike player. is now planted and there's players all over the place. Clearing these angles with an op is an absolute nightmare. But he found the first of this 1v3. And moving back though, he's gonna go all the way around. I mean, the timing could catch them off. Why, why would he be going heaven at this point? Surely the guy's playing to defuse the spike. Instead, he's just gonna have a player with back turned with no idea. Never oh. mind. Fnatic ran it down to the last 20 seconds in a lot of rounds before they moved to a site. I'm not expecting that same face out of foot. This is a team that likes to be a little bit more direct. I say that in the pistol round as we see cracks making a little bit of noise with the rest of the team going elsewhere. He's either gonna be cutting off rotations and maybe originally selling a little bit of a fake, but now he is in a lot of danger, but Potential could be massive. There's Players unaware of his position. Easy kill. And now they're expecting the B play to come through. The rotates come over, leaving Durka all by himself on A. And sure, Cracks falls in the end, but here comes the rest of the attacking side. Durka has a gate crash now. He's just put it online and tried to grab one. And he's out. Yeah, had to. Caught himself with the flash. Seen it. 
Ryan's going to be looking to try and mark the site. Here. Yeah. <laughs> 30 Just seconds to make left. out. Not really fooling anyone. And now getting into the after one. It's definitely not going to be easy. They've managed to push that a little bit further forward. See, they're not connecting the shots either, but with a couple of players slowed, they're just going to try and pressure onto them, One and the trades remaining. are immediate. It leaves it onto Chronicle again. We've seen him many times. He looks frustrated right there. I think he's just in a perpetual state of frustration. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good start to the round, He did 99 though. things right, but one thing wrong, and he'll let you know about it. This oh. time, the wrong thing was seen at going down. Yeah. Good start for Alpha. Again, this is more of a bonus round for the side of Foot, so you can't really have the same expectations, but CNEV was one of the main dangers of this round. And obviously wanted to try and get some orbs back. This set play could be wonderful though. Already the peek out from Spike Dirk. And this is the one-two punch I kind of expected. Alpha was there alongside, and maybe they're gonna do it a little bit more on that defensive side. I think the important thing for Fnatic is keeping things nice and clean and booster. That happened to him in the last half. He's gonna get a little revenge. Kind of like this man off the chain though. That's the flash is gone. From Durka, decoy goes out. It's on. We often expect our third round to swing to the other team. Was a good play though. And, and this is what I'm excited to see. You know, Cracks wanted an orb, he got an orb. The, the play in mid Alpha. You look for the kill, but he hasn't found it. And now Foot have access to be at least in their head. Testing heaven. Leo's waiting and not hitting his shot this time. Puts a lot of pressure on Boser. He's been hitting the aim labs. Let's see the results. Paranoia is through. Hasn't caught him. Spray is good. Picks cracks out of the air, but he won't make it away. And because of that, the numbers still stick towards foot. I think Boser did a fantastic job holding down that push against the world. But it ain't over yet. A lot more to be done by Fnatic to see yeah. that seventh round on the board. I guess I'm spotting out of Darker as well. That's going to make things a lot tougher for them. Chronicle on the fight. Doesn't have any real chance of a trade, and now Dunker has to try and do it all. The flash is good, it's a disappearing. One of the more common spots. When I say that, the Viper screen makes it a little bit more of a, a ruse. <laughs> Not much, though. And it's just being realized by Fnatic, but they're yet to pull a rotation. In fact, Durka is going to be left all alone. They managed to get so close to the setup. He now has to try and go huge. And again, it's just going to be the one and done. He has to get out of there, especially with that dimensional drift. He's going to be so important for the retake. Oh. Going to use it already before Spike has even been planted, Spike just planted. securing this control for his teammates, finding the utility. The decoy even used to break that trap as well. I love this. Now Dirk is on the backside. No flashes, no decoys, no gate crash. Has to commit, has to fight here. And now the captain takes him down, spins on a dime to eliminate Boaster. And Leo's the last man standing. Big clutch for this man. But oh, like that would be a very weird thing to do. Here we go, though. A huge showstopper, but it's only going to be the one. There were more than enough players waiting for that response. While the showstopper on the other side doesn't get too much. CNED quicker Cover than the Stinger out. could ever convert. And what was an attempt at a risk hasn't really worked out for them here. Boaster trying to find him something. I'm not sure what is going on there. And while Cracks, he's genuinely just having a field day. I, I think we talk about this guy a lot as someone who's like so exciting to watch, but he might genuinely be one of, if not the best player in the league at the moment. He's so... He can't come behind without breaking that trap, and now they're trained in and... It really hasn't. He's had a slow start. Foot. Putting their eyes on this B side, the challenge will come to Boaster yet again. He's been good. Always able to get his ones, or even more this time. There's the first. The cabbage is on their way. He's just about evaded the sprays that were coming to him. A little bit of damage sustained. Reposition towards the back site, not spotted. Where's that player gone? He's found him eventually. Had a captain back to the shadows where he belongs. Fnatic, four versus two. And a hard clutch for foot to close out this map. Mr. Fallen and Yedige, though, look. Two players you don't want to underestimate in these positions. No, I would say again today, Yedeshe, again, one of the biggest prospects, but he's already Towards here. That's the thing. It's like normally you talk about rookies to the league being good soon. I feel like in EMEA, they're all pretty much good now. 30 seconds left. There is a player trained in, though, if he tries to make his way past heaven. It would have to be a bit of a misstep for them not to spot him. Um, well, standing. I guess Boaster goes down, but it's an immediate trade. Stun there again from Leo. I yeah. feel like he can take his pick. I don't know if this is a call because Seenid hasn't seen anyone spotting, but this is such a gamble from Foot to go in with just 15 seconds left. The stun as well being thrown out. I don't think they have enough time to get anything done here. They have to go, and they have to go right now. The spike already dropped on the ground is problematic. Seenid needs to grab it, and I, I don't think no he time. has time. I think they've just run oh, out of time to get it. Just about, no, just about. Has he got it? I think he has. 
Oh, oh my God. goodness, that's a 0.1 plant. I don't think you're gonna see a closer round than this. The trap had to be broken as well. And as they peek out, it's left all on to Durka. A one versus two, a round that could have been won on time alone and Foot have played it to the very last margin. Only he stands in their way from taking this map home. And he has to go pushing into it. First kill is his, down to just the one HP. And just look at where Yedoje is playing from. He still has a snake bite that he can use that he could throw on if they go anywhere near that spike. That bait is there. He spotted him up close, but just opts to try and fall back. His position has been revealed. And of course, Vidurka, he has to go pushing this. He's going to get absolutely nothing. This so yes. they should be able to beat it. I still think that's easier said than done. I think a lot of comfort agents for the side of foot. I think that Cracks is still unbelievable on the Sage. I think seen it on the jet. I don't know. I, I think if Foot play as well individually as the last map, it may not matter that their comp has flaws. It's strange, isn't it? Crax's KO, for example, is spectacular. We saw his raise, and now here comes the Sage that we're excited for as well. Hello? Does anyone hear the steps? He's got a silencer on his boots. Somehow, only able to pick up the one, though. Good response by Alfier, and the fight comes in favor of Fnatic. Three versus one. Only Mr. Fallen left. Almost got the smoke in hand. He won't even... Making out that they're going towards this A side, which I won't say has worked fantastically well. Fnatic will have a good idea. Seen it though, already in. Yedeje, already in, but it doesn't even matter. Alpha's managed to find both opening picks, and again, now the time starts to take. They're gonna run through this into the oncoming storm that is Fnatic. Well, let's see what that Odin can do with 25 seconds. He's at least gonna get one. 20 seconds, it's not over in Doma just yet, but it might be. Look at Durka's position, his timing not quite good enough. So the spike will now get planted. Post plant with an Odin inside tree, that's wall bangable as well, but he does not want to go into tree. Instead, stepping forward and right into the waiting arms. Fact, a few landed, CNED tagged up, out of captain, tagged down, all the way down to zero. A quick and clean start to this one. Prowler going through to make sure no one's inside that cage, nothing nasty's going on, no one snuck past and thread the needle. The spam attempts by Boaster always just an annoyance. He's playing the gambling game, seeing if he can get the damage done. The door gets open. The pressure now being applied. His foot get that a little bit closer. They have left the spike in spawn. The intention to go to the B site, but yeah. someone's going to have to go back and get it. Yeah, I, I don't even know if they will. I, I don't think Foot have any intention of actually winning this round. I, I think they just have the intention of trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. Finally, the realization is there for Cracks. It's a, a long walk back to retrieve. And actually, okay, I'm surprised. Seenid manages to win that fight. That looked like a, a surefire victory for Durka. And oh, wow. now they actually are going to have themselves an after plan. Yep, managing to wall it off as well. Guaranteeing no swing in from the spawn and that have been covered. Post plant with these weapons, so much scarier. One player unchecked in a position that they don't clear, but... Oh, Yedige! What a shot! I was surprised he even swung, but of course Crax was there to help out and they both found a kill. The slow up top, the information revealed as well. And that Odin spray isn't going to get a thing. They know that it's there. They're not going to be in angles where he can spam back for free. Already the call is made. Fnatic go for a save. Round four is the fruitful one for Foot, and it's only going to get better as they drop another weapon out of the hands of these defenders. Seen it close by to try to hunt down that final man standing. For Leo, holding onto this rifle isn't everything. Oh. Okay. He's managed to drop Seen it. Okay. Looks like he will be safe with this composition. Oh, oh, the nade! The updraft saved CNET's life. Oh, for now. He was seized, and now Boaster spamming away, doing damage. How's Mr. Fallen Trout. They, they should think he's not here. The amount of bullets they just put through, but <laughs> the Prowler will confirm it. It will make it a little easier to follow up on the damage done. The C site, the new target of foot. We saw this before they pressured A, a lot less. And they found C to still be stacked up, and that's very much the case this time around. The Viper Orb, the Snake Bite, the Nanos, everything activated on site tells them that they're not going to have an easy take. It's going to be another brawl from the side of foot on the way through, and well, it looks like it'll start with Alpha, who's already forced out of position, but they're not looking! Never mind! Crax lands the jump and takes the kill with a Viper's pick committed. This could make it very difficult to hold on to post plants. We have one more orb for Crax. Oh! And that's what he's going for. If, if he gets this, he's got res online. So this can turn things back into a 4v4 scenario. The problem is, 
I believe the res will be within the pit, which is it's not something you might want to go for. Maybe just got to wait until the later stage is Durka. I don't know if that's exactly what he was planning. There is the res, and he will immediately trade it out and even get a second as well. A little bit awkward in the execution, but he gets the job done. It's left all up to seed, and while well, he won't get it all the way back, the only issue is that there's only one defender on the other side of the map. They were so certain this would be a committal. This sneak through from Adder Captain could be everything. If he gets the timing right, he hasn't spotted where this player is, but there's only one spot that's left. Even still, though, Alpha's going to get one, and now the cavalry arrives, but they don't know that Adder Captain's managed to get this far. It's a problem once again for Fnatic of just losing where these foot players are. Even left. still, though, they've managed to turn it into a 3v3, Say. and foot are going to try and go back again with 25 seconds left. Well, they've got a lot of space on Yedige, so it makes sense to capitalize, and the wall allowed them to cleanly disconnect what well, fired the player out of captain and got caught on the other side of it. Do you I expect think him I, to be here this soon? That, that's the bigger you thing. You shouldn't. Although the fact that they've rotated left. and given it up, perhaps eight seconds, if the spike is caught crossing, it's over and done with, but it won't be. The timing just isn't there. Cracks just about gets there. A wide swing Whoa! could end the round here, and now the spam is close. Oh, but just a little bit off. And in the end, the punish is there. Boaster could have just won the round. But instead, Fnatic have to fight back in a two versus three. Cracks waiting away on the site. Point of contact will be him. Yedige swings out. You see those slows? Single time. Coming. Have Util coming out from whichever player is available. This time they have somewhat fallen off, though. But I think there might be a paranoia being set up ready, if it's even needed. I don't know if it will be. Durko on the duel versus Cena. Way back all the way around the long way to be at this point. That's where the hit's coming in and tucked in the corner is Leo. He'd been there the whole round and patience certainly pays off this time. The spike is now under Fnatic's control and any doubt of this round surely now fading away. It seems Yedige yeah, trying to find out just because Foot have contested so many of those early rounds, but this time there will be a rotation okay. for sure. Chronicle dropped through the smoke, but the intention, having dropped the Viper, who you know is playing on that C side a lot, that's the backup player for Alpha. They suspect Alpha will be that little bit lighter, that little bit more exposed, but the Nanos have bought time and the rotations have come in. Ooh. Alpha finds the first lockdown, comes in, and look who's close. Leo, ready to catch them. And the Viper's pit coming through very deep as well. That's going to be hard to get back into after the lockdown pulses. Ah, this is so risky. Goes for the last yeah. second push through. It's going to be the catch, but that is huge. That single kill and CNED coming along. Well then. That's, well, that's a, one way to start it. Yeah, that might have felt like a replay, but it wasn't. That's again a, a second round in a row where we found the opener going in the direction of foot. Somewhat of a ludicrous way. I don't know how Durka wins that. The paranoia used by Foot. That's their fallen. Yeah, that's yeah. their one flash. They, they didn't. They didn't go off it. I'm quite surprised. And they only saw one player pushing, and it was with a stinger. Crazy decision making. Durka caught off the dash, almost drawing his eye for a second. Where the other two players are able to find the kill with the smoke fading. Mister Fallen, good for one heal left. right back up. And seen ends in there for the fight. Hiding inside the smoke. I think, I think he may genuinely be on a counter util in aggressive positions. It seems like Lucky their time. play is towards the B side. Oh, it's not, that wasn't even close. <laughs> that was a warning shot, Tom. That was a warning. Leave my side or, you're, or else. And this could be tough for Alpha as well. Right click needs to come in. Oh. There it is. He's found oh, it, but he's oh. kind of stuck in the utility. His own utility in the snake fight came through as well. That could have been very scary indeed. Uh, an awkward way to lose a player, way. but <laughs> so low in the corner, the effect is more or less the same. They haven't spotted Chronicle, and they will now, but at a heavy Ooh. cost, Dirk up on top of the wall as well. Able to swing through, able to continue pushing. In fact, they're not quite ready for it, but they win the fight anyways. Chronicle oh, no. from miles away. than anyone else. Unfortunately, though, the amount of time that's being burned just oh, guard this time. No Leo stuck in the corner. Said the B side's been left pretty much He's open. Pretty Utility is the only thing that was waiting for them there, and even that has now faded away. Speaking of fade, Prowler put through. They know that nobody's on the B side just yet. Cover going down. Rotations out. come through nonetheless. You can see Boaster here ready to fight Chronicle. Caught one lurking through C. Now it's just the B push to deal with. They didn't see Boaster sneak his way through. Spike planted. Seems like they're being cautious of it. They've walled off spawn, so there's not many angles to be worried about. Scatter. 
the way back through. Ulti where? towards the A site. Where is Mr. Fallen going? He's committed that. It, Mr. Fallen using his ult to go for a late game flank. Now they just use their slows, their utility, to keep these players in position while Mr. Fallen threads the needle. Leo already down. Another for Mr. Fallen on the flank. And that has slowed them possibly enough for Cena to find the opportunity. One more player. He has the dash online, but he doesn't. stacked up on now because you've got Viper's Pit and Utility. Viper's Pit used deep. I thought it would be playing off the Killjoy util. But instead, oh, Chronicle is casting a very wide net. There's no chance they sneak past him with the alar alarm bot waiting. He gets one tapped. I, I, I don't know what it is. I just mm. look at foot and I'm going, he's getting one tapped. It's seen that, isn't it? It's a random Op spray. Shot. Random shot is just going to one tap him. Let's see if that's the case. Uh, it looks like he's dodging a lot of shots, but eventually <laughs> he's going to be caught. Not quite a one tap, Tom, but the job's been done. He always got killed by the blades. And that's the thing, they get the rest. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter. That trade for a Viper Spit and Chronicle down. Oh, almost. It's almost caught. Back over to A. Exactly and they now have all of the information they could ever desire. Yeah, the pings already went through the first time. Another on its way. Confirming where these spots are. Durka tagged down to 62. It's going to be a very tough hold for him. Door open. Two players committing. TP comes in from Boaster. And Durk is playing Ring of Ring of Rosie. They should hear the steps, but they haven't realized. Mr. Fallen saves the day. Keeps it winnable for the side of foot. And another kill out of Yedishe gives them the advantage. The ult used by Boaster leaves him on the back side with 12 seconds left. They have to really pick up the pace. And it's the B site where the plant will come through. Eight seconds, seven as it's planted. And that denial seems almost impossible. Leo does well to find the first, even spotting the next player with a shorty, which is 22 HP. It would be oh, out. The wheel would have to come through, though. And a captain running. He's miles away, just now making it as it, the defuse is already half, and it's being stuck. But out of captain suspects it. You don't want to get ahead of these traps, especially in a pistol. They're expensive to invest into. You want to get the value out of them. And also, probably the best chance for them not checking on the on the pistol rounds. Cracks use the wall. That that's the thing that comes into mind. Because it's just annoying now, again, you got 40 seconds, you almost have to start going back in the other direction, which is exactly what they do, which is where Seed Ed is. You put up your human turret to try and delay them that little bit further. Left. The reposition, now they have to try and go back, which involves, again, still the problem of the wall. They haven't solved problem number one, so they have to try and run away from Seed Ed and look in the corner. It's just waiting, but they do manage to get the kill. That's at least given them something. 15 seconds left on the clock. Mr. Farland is still here. Cracks is still here. And the spike is dropped in the open. It's One all falling apart. Well, no, he had teammates up in heaven. And a firing squad comes through. A tough round to deal with. They the decided that from the beginning. Like that, That's the thing Absolutely. I love about some of the rounds you'll see from Foot. Is I'm going to be both happy and sad. Oh, actually kind of safe because... Well, never mind. There never we mind. Go. No, there was, there was no safety. Very well dealt with. And the way back through is not going to be easy. Closest player is Yedige. Okay. Well, they did catch Alpha unaware. Closest player was Yedige with a Bucky in hand. Now some upgrades and the players coming behind. And they might even funnel them in towards Yedige. I mean, where are you going to go? And Fnatic, you've lost control of this. Where's, where's Yedige going to go? No, he, he he's wants going a right better gun. The door. Yeah, he's going to creep up with his team. I like he does it. not want to play on the retake with a Bucky. See that, though? He's not waiting at all. Leo will take him out. The trade immediate. Keep things even. Boaster. Paper walls, we have to spray with, and he's gonna take down all the three! The C site, but a little bit too late. I think Fnatic are already gonna be set up here. Yedige wants to get ahead of it. And it's oh, off the trap, he grabs his kill, and he's back out. Beautiful play. Yeah, that's such a smart setup from them, and... Oh, it's disgusting from CNN! Another headshot connected through the wall. He's always a man to fear. Peek out from Leon, he's been dicked as well. He's basically headshot every single player. He might not necessarily Thanks get down. the reward of the numbers, but he wants to try and hunt them Ten down. Seconds Ten seconds remaining. This round is already over. The question is, does CNED get to finish his dinner? Because he is not wanting to let these remaining players of Fnatic survive. Alpha in the corner will at least remove him. Leo's caught another. I don't know how. That, that's the one thing, especially with all these weapons that can actually pad some. Yeah, Chronicle only had the pistol to play with, but the reality is the wall, the utility, and the post plant ability is, is what you're hoping for. One less player to recover a rifle as well. Sneak through, nice attempt, but Alpha Yair, they were ready for that. And that is the rifle. That, that's the biggest thing that they had in this round, no doubt. They want to get back aggressive into this position. Oh, out of Captain, that's nasty carry on. Durka will get an orb the hard way, unfortunately. Oh. For Leo and Boaster, it now becomes about damage. Cena just on the blade storm. Definitely not as clean on the first few dies, but the last one works out for him. For probably favoring Fnatic. You can't 
I'm not sure about that. good enough. Boaster uses it a lot, so I look forward to you saying that. Yeah. Where's, where's he on the board? All right, well, there was no need for that. But Yedeshe, <laughs> Mr. Fallen picks up the opening. Durka down and out of the round. That's a big player for Fnatic. Out of the equation already. Foot, don't need to overextend. They can play this one slow, but they are sending out out of captain to grab that little bit of extra space on the C push-up already. Mr. Fallen gets tagged, but the plan also Spike secured. Planted. Fnatic have things going their way at long last. Look at where Alpha Yer is. That guy's miles Shadow away. Strike. Looking to catch rotations from A, but they've grouped up together. The only risk they're willing to take here is the flank that's now being spotted out of captain in a known position. Perfect snake fight, but impossible to follow up on. Chronicle has to swing out. Hello? He's good. I, I think he knew he was dead either way. They just wanted to see if he could survive in the corner, but it, it doesn't work out for him. And now they're all being picked apart. Alpha left to try and clutch this out. Meets a shotgun on the other side. Does land the first headshot, but again... It's just irritating. You're not going to want to try and face off against anybody on the other side. Instead, though, again, they try and double back. But look at where the players from foot are. There's already a couple ready and waiting. You've also got trips that need to be cleared. And so far, they haven't been. The cam's being destroyed, only spotted two. Oh, great trap on the way in. Spraying against an Odin is a risky game. Mr. Fallen comes out alive at least, so the advantage stays towards this squad. Even if they lose one, Crax has Rez to fall left. back on. No ultimates in play for Fnatic. Alfier could have his lockdown if he finds one, but even the position to use that right now would be tough. Alarm bot's covering his back at least, so he's got a safe spot for the time being. Foot getting ready to go for their fight. They've just popped a heal to bring everyone back up to full HP. Out of Captain again with the snake fight. He's been good on them so far, but Chronicle punishing player after player. Oh, Leo's there to back him up as well. This is looking better for Fnatic, keeping essential control. If Alpha can hold this position, I don't think they can even get this spike defused. And well, if he takes out the whole team, that's another thing. Mr. Fallen down to 60 in time, running very, very low. Another kill comes in. Unstoppable on this map, other than facing off against Loud. I wouldn't be surprised if he aces this round. I can get behind that strap for Yedeshe. It doesn't look like he'll have the opportunities. Players already moving it towards the other side. Foot, Ooh. advantage to play with, but up against a Viper's Pit and a Showstopper. It's scary time. CNET now updrafting above the rocket, but he falls anyways. Picked out of the sky by Leo, and the Viper's Pit seems to cement this round. Two versus four. If they get one kill, they do have the res. That's the only thing. Like, it, it, there's not really a position where Spam it. he can use the res, like the, all the players are in pretty awkward positions. Oh, he almost had never, him. He never almost had to him. Mitch. I'm sorry, Yedeje. That that was your biggest flaw. Like, if you've seen <laughs> Mitch's predictions, you should know that it's oh, never a good now. idea. Come on now. Enzo would have hit it. I'm just saying. Liquid but, will win this time. I swear. All right. I'm already going to be trying to take that all, but yeah. I think they're just baiting for it. Alt's not particularly close, other than Alpha. Yeah. And already information has been garnered. They still have a lot of players left out. They were watching C push passively. Even saw movement to B, but this time they won't be opening the door on Fnatic and moving through that B site. Yeah. Instead, they think the weakness is on A. Stepping forward, they need to be careful. Cracks. On the Watching angle, as here. soon as that wall is broken, Bring he'll be ready down. to strike, but they fight further deeper run. in. Already seeing one trap, not destroying it. Oddly enough, the lockdown will come through, and that's sending players miles off the site. A retake has to be attempted. 30 seconds left. Uh, this is where, again, that uh, composition definitely doesn't work as nicely as they would have hoped. The same problems they had, although I say that, Cena's already pushing directly in. They don't want to allow this to get into an afterplant at all, but most has done well. Cena caught in the corner. He should be dead here. There should be no way out. He swings, but he's only going to get one. And now out of captain. The main thing is the time. They're going for that plant. If he can somehow deny it, there would be hope. But instead, he's going to have to try and pull this off. And from behind, slowly walking through, comes Duck. No expectation. Oh, there's no way back now. 40 seconds on the clock. No map control. Time to take those fights. Paranoia is already going to be burned up from the defensive side, so limited in terms of the reactions. The spam puts Mr. Fallen down to 8 HP, and here comes the push. Durka sprinting around as they're deafened by the Nightfall, and he'll grab two for his trouble. Almost the third. Crack's just about holding on to control. They need to take this site. They don't want to offer him the ability to pop Perez and make this competitive again. But on their way forward, they will be walking into almost all of foot with 12 seconds left. We need to see that spike hit the floor very, very soon. 
The cross from foot as they attempt to deny it. Watched by Alpha, but the shot is missed. Here's the swing up close, and he'll land his shot. Four seconds. Spike has to be planted and almost denied. Cena gives his life for it, but it's not worthwhile. Leaving it in the 1v3 for Cracks. He finds the first. And a player up in front through the smoke. One more for an ace to close out this map to put Fnatic in the dumpster, but he won't find it. Help to move on through, and a prowler ready in hand. I think this is going to be a full. Blitz in. Paranoia already used. That's his sign. In he goes. Where does the rocket get shot? It's going to be a gamble wherever he fires it. Player down below. He spotted him. And he's out for free. Big kill for Durka. And the site now taken by Fnatic. There's a bit of contestion still there, but the spike will be planted. And the overtime looking possible, looking doable. This man Cena needs to be the spanner in the works. Yeah, the res still available, but it's whether they can find a spot to use it. That'll be Mr. Farlin back. Operator not being able to land that shot. Seen it already tagged, so this blade storm is going to be much more difficult to get value from. And in fact, Leo puts him down immediately. Chronicles there as well. It's happening again as they will take it. In the corner worked wonders in the past, and one of the big things is not having an initiator to play through. They've cleared it this time. Yes. No, they've spotted him. Not going to fall twice to the same mistake. Foot with the opening pick with the B site control. Here comes Boaster, big gun in hand, and well, a tough position to try to get value from because they can spam right back at him and there is the real problem. The counter spams, the kills with the lurk from out of captain on C and Fnatic have fallen apart on this defensive round foot rightly pinpointing the weakness as the B site catching the kill on the way through and leaving them with next to nothing. Alpha even down to 19 HP and caught by a player further oh, back the no, snake yeah. fight. In fact, they're gambling more and more as the seconds go by. Well, the cam just got destroyed as well, giving away that there are players here. The door open. They know the wall is down now. Looks like they'll try to angle their way towards this side of B. Yedeshe has been here a couple of times, the Bucky no, last dead. time, and now they'll punish him for it. What? With a shorty, he gets a kill. Crax tries to fill the gaps and find another, but ends up going down. It's keeping the numbers even, but with the kills acquired, Durka has a showstopper online. 12 seconds left, and it's time to go. Showstopper, where's it committed? The slow what? keeps it in position, and the shot from CNET makes this so winnable. They have to plant it here and now, and here come the defenders flooding into the site, leaving it all on the Boaster. The shot is missed, though. CNET down to 43 HP. Boaster upgrades to the Phantom and finds the final kill to keep Fnatic alive. It's chaotic. But in the end... Gamble after gamble with what he was doing on the jet. The first couple of shots he hit, like oh. it's just a split second. I think this one as well was just as absurd. And his last bullet in the clip, you would have bet your house on him. Oh, we love to see it. He's out. He's aggressive. The dash is online and that's through the wall. He's even made it back. Boaster punishes a... Foot had. He got overwhelmed. Attempting to try and play. An aggressive position the gun's been spotted. They know that he's here. Yedige is threat the needle as well, but the trade, immediate. Alpha's done a lot of damage as well to Anna Captain. For you. They are definitely being a little bit more aggressive when it comes to this spot. The fact is, though, it looks like they might try and double back over towards A, and that is where Boaster is currently sitting. He has 30 not seconds moved. Left. Gave up a lot of control. Probably the right call in this scenario. He's going back into the A side. Of course, it's been a while since they've Cut. had any information to play with. There's the smoke down. Boaster's going to make the call. He's heard it. His own smoke goes through, but it won't do much. Wall up, denies his push yeah. around this side. Plant is secured. Spike planted. They still don't know where Boaster is. I think that's going to be one of the bigger problems if they do go to back site to take that control. But we can see foot move elsewhere. It's a mid play. Yeah, again, it's just such an obscure plant that it, originally, Bosa's position had so much value. Now, though, it's going to be revealed. Wrapping back, you've got the counter paranoias. Again, just buying time. That's the only real goal at the moment for Foot, Snake is to bite. try and slow this clock as much as possible. Snakebite is going to do that. Chronicle throws one down in counter, but again, the spams can still be there. Already, he's managed to get into half, though. And now they're worried about Bosa. He hasn't let go of him. Mr. Farnan at the last second has jumped in. And now it's left all up to Alfieri. Oh. Can't quite correct it. Right under their nose, and it's this. It's oh, a ridiculous way to finish get it. Out. If I'm not mistaken, the, the Viper Orb might have been up to... Add when you have the slows on the other side of the map, you don't really need to. Seen it on this one. Leg shot connected. He's done damage, but now that execution begins again. Snake bite downs on both sides. At a captain trying to thread the needle, but it's Leo to take him out. Again, CNED's going to hit a wall bang, but it doesn't even matter. They've got the entries that they needed.
Yedoshe is still here, maybe hoping that he can do something on the spam. No, he actually goes above, does some extra damage onto Poster, but he's got to be careful. That's an Odin on the other side. Snake bites used again to try and deny him, but now it seems to be in favor of Foot. As the Fnatic roster almost looked to just try and escape. Find a passive angle to spam from, buy extra little bits of time, but again, the trades are immediate. Chronicle hasn't been spotted. He's trying to wrap around on the site and it's left all onto the leader. Boaster with only 17 bullets. He might just run out, has to go for the reload, but they haven't even got close to half yet. They're just trying to bait him in. They're trying to kill him. They know that that time is ticking and eventually.